Hi everybody, in this video I will talk about antlion facts. So, uh, the name of antlion is applied to a group of about 2000 species of insects in the family Myrmelantidae. And the most well known genus is Marmalium. And uh, the term antlion applies to the larval form of the members of this family. And the length of fully grown, well nourished predatory larvae is typically up to 1.2 cm and that of an adult up to 4 cm. Also, the antlion larva is uh, called a doodle bug in North America because of the odd winding, I mean, odd winding, uh, spiraling trails it leaves in the sand while looking for a good location to build its trap. As these trails look as if someone has doodled in the sand. Antlions are found worldwide and most common areas for them are arid and sandy habitats. A few species occur in cold temperature temperate uh, places. And a famous example of this is the European Eurolion uh, nostrus, whose scientific name means our European lion. The antlion larva uh, eat small arthropods, mainly ants, while the adults of some species eat small pollen and nectar, while others are predators of small arthropods in the adult stage too. The adult has two pairs of long, narrow, multi-veined wings in which uh, the apical wings enclose uh, regular oblong spaces and a long slender abdomen. And even though they greatly resemble dragonflies or damsel flies, they belong to an entirely different infraclass among the wing insects. The exact meaning of the name antlion is at the moment uncertain. It has been thought that it refers to the fact that ants form a large percentage of the prey of the insect, and the suffix lion merely suggesting destroyer or eater. On the other hand, uh, the name may as a whole signify a large terrestrial biting uh, apterous insect, surpassing ants in size and predatory habits, similar to the concept of the lion being king of the animals. There are also a number of nicknames for the larva, which have no readily discernible etymology. For example, besides uh, for the North American doodlebug, it also includes uh, Shanti in South Africa, Jumpy P on Antigua and Barbadu Barbuda, uh, Tamba Boy in Vare Vare, and Chanchito in Costa Rica. In popular folklore in the southern United States, people recite a poem or chant to make the antlion come out of its hole. And similar practices have been recorded from Africa, the Caribbean, China and Australia. And that's basically it for Antlion Facts. If you like this video, please take a moment and comment below, watch other videos on our channel and subscribe to our channel as well.